welcome to the Pearls Before Time Knitting Podcast. I'm Elise. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So um, yeah, just got a little cup of something warm. I've got a little cup of coffee here. And yeah, let's just get into it. Um, So today I want to talk about Christmas jumpers and making your own Christmas jumper or making my own Christmas jumper rather. And the reason I want to talk about this is, well, because it's fun. And um, I've been considering making myself a Christmas jumper for quite a long time. And I finally kind of narrowed it down to some very beautiful patterns that I really like. And I wanted to share those with you today. So a little bit of background. I lived in the UK for about 10 years and um, they have a very strong Christmas jumper culture there. You often have... um, wear your Christmas jumper to work day and then when there's a lot of like Christmas parties people will often wear Christmas jumpers. The only issue that I found was very prevalent with that is that um, people would often just get a fast fashion Christmas jumper, wear it for that year and the next year you'd get a different one and that was something I found quite challenging and it's no real judgment to the people who do that, it's just kind of very ingrained in what people do there. And it's much easier to just, you know, get a five or ten pound Christmas jumper, wear it a couple of times and then, you know, dispose of it rather than just like keeping it uh, or spending a lot of money on a Christmas jumper, which I can understand is not, doesn't really feel like a good investment for a lot of people. So that aside, what I wanted from a Christmas jumper was I really want to make my own and I also want one that is elegant and timeless and the kind of time I want to wear it is I want it to be versatile enough to wear like at a pub but also like dress it up a little bit if I want to go to like a party or something but also I want it to be able to not just be worn at Christmas necessarily like I don't want it to look like oh Christmas has vomited all over the sweater and it's covered in Christmas puddings and candy canes and you know colored lights and stuff that's not really me Um, so I have been on the hunt for beautiful knitting patterns that are you know designed with care and um, are elegant and styled really nicely and it's been really tricky because either things are more winter coded and not necessarily Christmas coded and you know sometimes it's just yeah, it's just hard to find the right balance of, you know, this is festive, but it's not overly festive for Christmas and it's, you know, versatile and elegant and, you know, lots of things. So I've only found five patterns that I really like for this, but a lot of, like, but I also have some, like, little tips and elegant ideas that are a bit more versatile that you can use outside of these patterns. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to start um, by going into my list of five <laughs> Christmas patterns that I think all of these are stunning and would make a beautiful, elegant Christmas jumper as part of a beautiful winter wardrobe. So, number one uh, is by the designer that actually designed this beautiful piece. So this is Augustine's number nine by Anna Sophia Velling. She is a Danish designer. Her designer brand is called Augustine's and she makes very sort of oversized silhouettes, often with um, relatively thin yarn on big needles. So you get a lot of like poof and uh, airiness in your garments. So this one is a very nice example of that. I think it's made on six or seven millimeter needles and it's made with a strand of light fingering held with mohair, but you know, it's so gorgeous and airy and lovely and voluminous, but you know, it has these lovely little folded cuffs and pico edges along the color. And then it also has a bow at the back that is tied with a ribbon, so. Yes, I love her work. She um, does very nice things. This is the only thing I've made by her, but I've got a lot of her designs on my favorites list. But 
She has a design called Northern Augustines number no. four as part of her Northern Augustines collection. And this is so gorgeous. It is a color work a sweater worked in the round with a sort of circular yoke. And the color she has made it in is this sort of honey toasty beige with red. And the color work is so simple and it's just like this beautiful sort of wreath like reds and then it's got these bows or ribbons underneath and it really evokes sort of thoughts of like the nutcracker for me and you know a bit of like ballet with the bows but definitely christmas and not you know snowflakes so i really like this i think it is so elegant the shape of the jumper is also really nice and I think this particular design would pair particularly well with formal wear as well as slightly more casual and dressed down. So this is my number one at the moment that I think if I were going to make any of these I think I'd go for that one. Um, as a sort of aside, uh, she has recently done a collaboration with Hillesvag Ulvara Fabrik, which is a yarn manufacturer in Norway, and they have she has come up with some designs for them as part of their Christmas collection, and those are mostly colorwork sweaters, and they are really beautiful. Um, I'd say they were slightly less obviously like Christmas. Um, they're just very sort of more subtle. Christmas vibes. Um, I think they're very beautiful as well and the designs are a little bit different um, where the colour work is and stuff so I think if you're into that kind of bit more discreet uh, Christmas jumper you would really like that collection so go have a look at that if that's something you might be interested in. Um, the next one I really want to talk about because it's kind of trending on Ravelry but it was published in 2017 is a Japanese design which translated to English means fir tree cardigan but uh, in Japanese it's mominoki yeah a cardigan or mominoki cardigano which is I think how you say it in Japanese and the designer is Sanae Nas Nasu Nasu uh, probably it's Sanae Nas because you don't always say the U at the end of Japanese but anyway this cardigan is so stunning. It is a, uh, I think it's worked top down in color work and the color work actually extends beyond just the yoke of the cardigan. It goes down into the body and the back and it's these beautiful, like very thin fir tree motif. And on the back, one of the fir tree branches has a very small, cute little stocking on it. And I think that's really playful and you know an obvious nod to Christmas but it's nuts in your face and you, it's also optional you don't have to do that. I also think you could um, adapt this pattern in a really fun way so if you didn't want a stocking you could like pretend you know well not pretend but you could add like a different type of ornament to it like a little bauble on one of the branches or you know a little star here and there I think that would be really sweet. Um, the only thing that's a problem with this pattern is, unfortunately, it seems to only be in Japanese. Um, I wonder how easy it would be to translate with all the good translate, translating technology there is now into English. But um, yeah, I definitely suggest that she finds a translator or something because I think there's going to be a lot of people who would love to make this pattern and I just think it's so gorgeous um, and also very sweet. So yeah, uh, on to pattern number three that I think would be a really nice Christmas jumper, but it's not a Christmas pattern. It is a pattern I have already made three times, twice for myself and once for my little cat who is in a very active mood and doesn't want to wear his jumper right now which is fine um he doesn't need it inside it's just um my cat for those of you who don't know is a devon rex and that particular breed have um they don't have a lot of fur coverage and we live in norway so if he has to go outside in winter 
he isn't really quite insulated enough for cold so he needs a little jumper so this is his jumper which happens to also be his little christmas jumper which is the pattern is snowy forest by midori heroes knit and um i adapted it for silas um last year and i love this red color i think if you made an adult version or like a human version in this color it would definitely be a very elegant and occasion appropriate Christmas jumper. So I made this in one strand of alpaca two and one strand of silk mohair from Isago in these beautiful sort of deep red colors. So this red shade actually has quite a bit of blue in it, which is why it's so deep and beautiful. So I think if I made this in the same color for myself, not only would I match my cat, which is, you know, always the dream to have matching outfits with your pets. But um, yeah, I think it's just, you know, the pattern also has, you know, forest, obviously forest um, vibes, which is kind of Christmassy. And I think the color just makes it extra festive. So yeah, this is a very strong contender, <laughs> just making this, but for myself. Um, yeah, so the next pattern that is not necessarily this pattern that you have to make, but it's more like the inspiration is the Hoytid Skenser by Aftenstrik. So Hoytid means like high time. And what she has done with this sweater is she has just made a very simple stockinette sweater in a beautiful like dark um, navy blue. Um, like almost sort of like dark winter sky blue you think of that like the kind of really blue almost black kind of color and then she has taken a kind of glittery embroidery thread and then sewn little stars all over it I think that is a really beautiful way to make a Christmas jumper uh, that is really elegant it's got a bit of shine it's got a bit of like sparkle but it's also a little bit discreet and you can choose how much embellishment you add to it to your own personal taste so even though like i'm putting this pattern on the list you could do this with any of your preferred simple stockinette patterns i think it would be more successful on a slightly finer gauge pattern for the sake of the embroidery i think you know if you have a very chunky bulky sweater with very fine embroidery it's going to be a bit might pull a bit more and be more obvious if it sort of yeah it might not allow the sweater to stretch as much as it normally does so yeah I would recommend probably DK and below if you're going to do this um so and then when I was thinking about um embellishments and how you can actually embroider um like just embroidery really just lifts knitwear I think I've never really done it but I think for a Christmas jumper perfect time to try um, and that really got me thinking about the recent publication by Claudia Quintanilla with Len magazine she made uh, or made they came out with a book called making memories no, no. making memories was a kid's one memory lane is the one for adults and it's an entire pattern book of um, embellished knitwear so either adding embroidery or beads or things to um, your knitwear and I was looking through the patterns in there and none of them were specifically Christmas jumpers but one of them really um, like I was really drawn to it and I think if you did it in a different color scheme it could be very festive so um, that one is the El Naranjo pullover which uh, the sample in the book is made in this gorgeous um, sort of Mediterranean blue and then there's this sort of reddish orange tree yoke color work and then these little um, I think it's beadwork but it might be shiny embroidery um, at the end with like little dots and it's um, supposed to look like little oranges because they're meant to be like orange trees so I think you could easily translate this pattern into like being mistletoe or holly or something like with, you know, gold beads or red beads or just something else. And if you made the body of it, like the main color in like 
a green or a dark blue or something it could be you know so beautiful so I think I kind of want to make that pattern anyway but yeah those are my five current <laughs> suggestions for an elegant um yeah Christmas jumper so okay so I'm gonna just wrap up here um if you have any experience making Christmas jumpers please let me know let me know what yarn you've used let me know the designer you've chosen have you just like freestyle the pattern that you like um I'm really interested to find out um so yeah that's all for me I don't have a ton to say I will link all the patterns below not all of them are available in Ravelry so I'll make a little pattern bundle and then link the individual ones underneath if they're not available in Ravelry um yeah so that's kind of all I have to say um so until next time have a wonderful time knitting and enjoy yourselves bye